basically the, the basic idea was the initial yes, idea. Yes, talking to the tube. Yeah, yeah. Initial idea was uh, the, to build an artwork that would um, facilitate uh, uh, communication between people. <coughs> we can look at each other through the tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I turn it into 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 flying in the air. Thing. So now I, re I, I uh, re uh, uh, renamed it into levitative tube. This amazing uh, railroad, uh, railway guide from 1939, Finnish rail railroads. And look at this amazing graphic works for advertisement. Jumped on me immediately is uh, this chapter, the... Um, um, an accident in the factory. Mm. Yeah, humor is a part of what I do. I kind of cannot think uh, myself, uh, think about my practice without sort of uh, slightly sarcastic attitude. I guess it's just healthy. Oh, yeah, first I, f I felt like I do not deserve such a good space. Yeah, because, you know, the, uh, it's actually, it's all a sort of a, sort of a game to play, uh, to play on an artist, for example. So, uh, uh, what is to be an artist? It's sort of self-proclaimed uh, identity. I was an artist from the very start? <laughs> was I born as, as an artist? I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> So I just call myself an artist, and I'm not sure I'm I'm, I'm really an artist in in the eye of of, of the other. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, when I first got here, I, I felt like extremely lucky that I have such a good space, and I was like uh, even embarrassed. That probably I don't have enough ideas to fill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, little by little, I I got used to. And now uh, I know every corner, and uh, I guess I, I, I use it properly. So they have like a really big washing machine, and I washed there uh, the uh, volume of uh, Pushkin, which is national, uh, sort of national, main national poet, together with the main uh, contemporary art uh, journal in Russia, periodical called uh, um, Moscow Art Magazine. So I can show you what was the result. The, the, the most kind of close to me, the, 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 the most important for me is uh, conceptualist tradition. And uh, the uh, great invention of the, of, the, of the late 60s was that exhibition actually uh, can, uh, the whole exhibition can actually fit into one manila folder. So to, to, to the, for conceptual art, for a conceptualist, uh, uh, the art production is actually production of ideas. So for producing ideas, you do not actually need a studio. <laughs> what you need is a, a A4 paper and, and pencil. That's it. Or maybe computer. Or, uh, I don't know, typewriter. So that's enough. Uh, so in this sense, it's a little bit weird that I have a studio. So I probably, like to be honest, maybe I do not need it. So it's, 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 in, a way, it's in a way weird uh, that, that, <laughs> that actually is sort of betrayal of, 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 of a, uh, integrity proper of, of conceptualists to have a studio. <laughs> because, you know, the conceptualist proper should generate ideas and then probably the, the, the final things can be just printed out or, or, or fabricated by, I don't know, some factory worker, for example. But I'm against the uh, intellectual division of labor and, uh, and the basic division of labor, so I would prefer to produce myself. And uh, consequently, the way I use the studio is I sort of model the, model, uh, model the uh, exhibition as if it's a gallery. So this is why I painted the walls in, in white to have a mm, white cube of sorts. Uh, the ceiling is, is pretty low, <laughs> this is a disadvantage. Yeah, but uh, so here, uh, what we can see here is actually an exhibition. Uh, it's called Art That Will Change the World. Uh, this work is actually enlarged copy of very small 
drawing by uh, almost forgotten uh, Dutch Baroque artist uh, Dirk van der Lisse. So a, that small uh, drawing is in a Courtauld Institute in London, in possession of the Courtauld Institute. So I decided to, to enlarge it a little bit, uh, transform and enlarge, and I enlarge it together with pencil. So not just drawing enlarged, but pencil as well. This work is from different projects that called Artist Clock. So you're always uh, on time. Suprematist figures, a moment before collapse, clamped, fixed, forgotten. No, of course, I'm mostly thinking here. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking and I'm like trying to uh, I don't know, try, try to squeeze something out of myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, here also I'm imagining I'm a real artist. So not an imposter, not an imposter, but a real artist. And I think that uh, the, here is a, it's, it's a sort of a small Kunsthalle. Yeah. And like, uh, what I can do is, uh, I don't know, uh, I can find some, for example, this piece, I, f I, I found this old frame, strange plastic film uh, with prints uh, in the skip. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and decided to, 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 to uh, do something that uh, no one expects from me. Uh, the, the ceiling is a bit low, mm -hmm. but the good advantage is I do not need a ladder. The, the sheet of paper with uh, printed X, 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 just to make it, you know, in transparent, mm -hmm. opaque. Uh, it's called Work in Progress 1. So you see uh, the frame is already here, so it's a good start, and uh, it's now in, in, in progress. So it's constructivist building and constructivist environment, and it's all like a, a square, rectangular. So my thoughts and my works became more rectangular and square. <laughs>